Under Georgia rules, a candidate has to get more than 50 percent of the vote to win. And no one did. Senator David Perdue will look to fend off a Democrat, John Ossoff, once again. Perdue is a Trump ally elected back in 2014. Ossoff, a documentary filmmaker who's never before held public office. The other runoff is between uh, Demo Democrat uh, Warnock and uh, Senator Kelly Loeffler. Loeffler is also a Trump ally and businesswoman. Warnock is a pastor. Democrat Andrew Yang says he's moving to Georgia to help his side win. He'll rally voters, he says, and help raise money. Republicans and Democrats are expected to spend a combined, look at that, $200 million in, this, in the weeks ahead. CNBC's Contessa Brewer, live tonight in Atlanta. Contessa? Hi there, Chef. You know, without Trump on the ticket, it's going to be a challenge to turn out the vote. It, it always is. Special elections just lag in voter turnout. And both parties know it. And both are ramping up the money machines. Historically in Georgia, Democrats have a, they have a greater drop. And uh, Republicans usually go into a special election with a better advantage. The one thing we're going to do differently this year is we're able to um, make sure that we're phone banking and canvassing and doing some of the other things that we don't always have the resources to do in a runoff because we spend everything in the election. Our people are really fired up, I'll tell you that, especially after, you know, what's going on with the president's race. So we, our, our phones have already been ringing off the hook of people wanting to help and volunteer, campaigns, get campaign signs. The ads are already airing. Big names are flying in. Former Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang is moving to Georgia to help his party's candidates. Republican Senator Marco Rubio will headline a rally Wednesday for Republican incumbent Kelly Loeffler. Stacey Abrams, former Democratic candidate for Georgia governor, has raised $6 million in just a few days with a video fundraising plea. And her skill at mobilizing turnout among young people and African Americans will be desperately needed on January 5th, Shep. Contessa, both Leffler and Purdue are calling for the Georgia Secretary of State to resign. Can you explain why? Well, the senators, David Purdue and Kelly Leffler, in their statement, they say there have been too many failures in the Georgia elections this year, and they claim mismanagement, lack of transparency. The Secretary of State is a Republican here. They say the blame certainly lies elsewhere, but the buck stops with him. Meanwhile, with less than 0.2 percent separating President Trump and President-elect Biden, election officials in Georgia are already trying to manage the expectations for the expected recount. I guarantee you, if I get a deck of 1,000 votes and I give it to people to count, it will come up with a different thing every time. If I give it to a computer to count, 99% of the time, it's going to come up with the same outcome. That's just the way human beings are built. And we all have to kind of accept that. And again, it doesn't mean there's skullduggery going on. It means humans are going to be humans. He says that they are going to find illegal votes, Shep, whether they're double votes or ineligible voters happens every election. But will it be the 10,000 plus that currently separate Trump and Biden? Unlikely. Yeah, not likely at all. Contessa, thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.